Father, please forgive us for our sins as we do not know what we do. And I ask for this delivery to be with the Holy Ghost, with your words and your way, with your will. So that we can have more of Jesus and less of me. With this prayer, I ask for Jesus' support. With Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, I've got a heavy delivery to do here, so please pay attention to me. Or, excuse me, please uh, be patient with me, and uh, uh, let's see if we can get through this. Um, to me, it's very important because we are doing the battle against good and evil, and we get to choose which side we want to be on. And my position is to help people that want to be on the side of Team Jesus, um, the side of salvation. So without further ado, Peter patter let's get at her. Chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman's... And this is where we sit today. We are as gods, small g, knowing good from evil. And because we know of this, we will be judged. Now, not everybody goes up in front of the judge. Everybody is judged. But there are people that were sanctified from day one. John the Baptist, Enoch, Elijah, Moses, and many, many more. But yet, they still have, had shown us a way of life. Um, not as good as Jesus, but still. Or that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Now, uh, the actions here is a, of a deceiver. Okay? The goal of this video is to display Lucifer, Satan, the deceiver. And this is where he started on the flesh. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. Okay, they hid themselves. Did they see Jesus at this time? They called out, but did they see him? I think from Scripture, this was the last time that man had seen Jesus until he was born. Amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid, because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, 
she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. This is procreation. Okay? This is at the time uh, where the act of salvation has totally changed. And I believe it was from light beings, Adam and Eve. Adam was made in the image of, a, of God, uh, male and female. He made them until the rib was removed. And then he made them also male with the female for procreation. Because there's no procreation allowed in heaven. So there's no more angels being born or being made or whatever people want to think. They were created. And they cannot create in the Father's dimension. Because, well, Lucifer, who is Satan in a fallen state, deceived the third of the angels. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Now, it started off because you hearkened unto thy wife, because the order of operation is the Father, Jesus, man, woman, the children. Okay? That's in the family individual. Now, the man in the Garden of Eden did not stay to the words that were brought to him from Jesus. Do not eat of this tree. It wasn't the tree of, uh, of life because there was no death yet. So they were they allowed to eat from the tree of life until this time? Because there was no death until the sin came. So, if they were to be a light being in the beginning, but the sin covered in them, them with a skin sin suit, then we understand when we get our indestructible bodies back, they will be light beings. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins, and clothe them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And Now, if you understand what a coat is, it's a covering of skin. Okay, there's nothing about killing animals or doing anything to get the skin. That's the people being deceptive. Trying to hinder the truth. Let the scriptures speak to you. How 
lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Now, nobody, no human has seen Jesus until his birth from this point. Um, and this is the, the start of the correction of what Lucifer did. Now, what did Lucifer do? He deceived a third of the angels. And in his actions, he was degraded. Um, and called from Lucifer to Satan. This action brought a place to put a, a third of the angels, okay? Because they could not exist in the Father's presence any longer. Now, Lucifer was degraded, so he lost position. And he was still allowed to go to and fro from the earth until there was found no more room in heaven for Satan. Whoops. Sorry, people. Um, like I say, be patient with me on this, please. Where am I? I want to be here. And I thought I punched it out. Oh my gosh. What the world is trying to do is to stop the thought of salvation through Jesus Christ. Chapter 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Now this is the plan of salvation through Jesus Christ and the Jewish belief. Because Jesus went to the lost sheep. Now to me, if Jesus went to the lost sheep, why are the Jewish claiming that they are the chosen people? That's a, that's, okay? That's something to be said right there. But um, we're working up towards uh, uh, verse 12. But when people just pull out a verse and give it to them, they do not get the full understanding of that verse because it goes with a chapter. And the chapter sets up that verse. And this is why I have gone this way about it. Because... It lays the path of the destruction that Lucifer left and that we can obtain if we do not listen to the word of God that was brought with a blood sacrifice. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased? The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? 
Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Okay. So the, this was an explanation about what was going on with the earth. Um, the worm is a very interesting thing, because I believe it's a psychological thing. Um, a teaching outside of the fathers that brings destruction which I believe is the mark of the beast. Now, here we're going to get into the understanding of where Lucifer come from. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did sh the question okay is this the man that made the earth tremble how important is that to know because jesus came down he was made a little lower than the angels so f when lucifer is on the earth He's going to be lower than the angels too, which is man, which is why the angels could procreate with the flesh. They're very close in construction. And consider thee saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, and slain thy people, the sea. See, this is very important. There's a separation here. Please listen. Of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant, and son and nephew, saith from Babylon, where all the evil of the earth was orchestrated and planned. The Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts hath sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand, that I will break the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. Let's hear that again. Earth, and this is the his yoke in my land, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. So this is the purpose of the whole earth. And what is that? To return the Father's word to the Father. And how? This is the hand that is stretched out upon all nations. 
For the Lord of hosts hath purposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? In the year that King Ahaz died was this burden. Rejoice not thou, whole Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. And I will kill thy root with famine, and he shall slay thy remnant.